as you sink in, you can, it, it's, you get more and more in touch with that inspiration. Just what really inspires you, you know? That's what's going to carry you and lift you. That's what's going to take you down the runway faster and faster and faster until there's liftoff. It's one of the things I really appreciate about our community is there's, you know, there's encouragement for inspiration. There's encouragement for extension. There's, we have our, our meditations. There's encouragement for the stillness. There's many different ways of expression, but it's, <clears throat> when I was back in uh, university, you know, it was, it was, uh, all of us students trying to find out what are we going to do with our lives and there was a book that came out, What Color Is Your Parachute? Anyone remember that one? It was really just helping you start to get in touch, you know, with where your inspiration was. That's what it was about and here we are, you know, seemingly at a monastery, at a, a snowy canyon and we're, we're tapping into that. Where is my glee? Where is my joy? What is my inspiration? What is my calling? Knowing that I must have everything in the blueprint in there that is part of my, we'll say, play, playing my part, even though in the end it goes way beyond parts. But that's the kind of the metaphor from the Course, you know. Jesus calls it your special function. He uses special in a positive connotation. The use of all the things that the ego made that seems to be part of your personality, but just channeled in line with the Holy Spirit, so it's your special function. It's the use, like we took a trip with Lila and she was talking about sometimes the preferences will still come up and it's like, yeah, there, the Holy Spirit will use your ego preference system, will use everything to take you home. Everything, even the preferences, which is the ordering of thoughts, which is the hierarchy of illusions, which is saying this one's better than that one and I prefer this one over that one. You know, it's like that line, you know, from Simone. I don't know if you ever saw the movie Simone, it's in my movie Watcher's Guide to Enlightenment, but at the end of the movie, the Pacino character who uses this virtual actor, this vector, you know, to make up all these movies and everything, and she's not a real actor, so he feels real guilty that he's been using this vector and not telling anybody about it. And his daughter finally helps unravel the whole thing get at all of his private thoughts and realize everything that he's done. And she smiles at him and they're in the car. She has this great line, I'll never forget that line. She says, we're fine with fake dad, just don't lie about it. And that's the Holy Spirit. That's the Holy Spirit and Jesus in your mind. We're fine with fake, just don't lie about it. Just don't pretend we don't know. Just don't lie to yourself. Just don't try to cover it and hide it and protect it and think that you're guilty because of the fake. Because the fake is the fake. The fake is fake. Fake is not real. You're, you're making yourself guilty over something that's not real. We're fine with fake. Just don't cover it. Just don't hide it. Just don't conceal it from us. If you bring the fake to us, we'll make sure that it disappears and is gone. We're fine with fake. Just don't lie about it. Now, when we're getting into our inspirations, you don't have to feel guilty about preferences. You just have to say, take these from me. You can use them in a way to get me out of here. You can use them in a way that will lift me up beyond all sense of limitation, beyond all identification with the ego. You can lift me up and use everything that the ego made to lift me up. That's why the Course says the Holy Spirit uses spe special relationships and transforms them into holy relationships. Uses what the ego made and transforms it into holiness. You know, I don't know if you remember that song by Air Supply, Australian band, making love out of nothing at all. That's what the <laughs> Holy Spirit is lifting us up to holiness, out of nothing at all. <laughs> That's a pretty good lift.